We are a week away from the November 5th election and some Northwest Louisiana voters will be casting their ballot for the newly redrawn 6th Congressional District. KSLA News 12's Donna Kia spoke to an expert about your vote. For days, people in Louisiana have already been casting their ballots, and for the first time, many people, including some in Northwest Louisiana, will be voting for Louisiana Congressional District 6. Previously, a court ruled to have a second minority majority district in Louisiana, which this new map accomplishes. A federal court heard arguments on the map in Caddo Parish earlier this year. The three judge panel ruled as they did, which is immediately on appeal to the U.S. Fifth Circuit. And no matter what the U.S. Fifth Circuit does, I think the losing party at the U.S. Fifth Circuit Court of Appeal will appeal it to the U.S. Supreme Court. The map goes across a portion of the state diagonal from Lower Caddo Parish to East Baton Rouge Parish. The addresses for all five of the candidates in the race on the Secretary of State's website are located either in Baton Rouge or Opelousas. Whoever is elected is going to really have to spend a lot of time in the car getting to know constituents throughout this whole thing. I mean, that's about 250 miles of congressional district. Shreveport attorney Royal Alexander believes the map will eventually work its way up to the Supreme Court, which would make the map's future uncertain. And if the U.S. Supreme Court strikes it down, then it will only be for one term. It will just be for this term from 2024, essentially the year 2025 and 2026. And if it's struck down, then they're going to have to redraw the whole state. But if it stands, of course, people will get used to voting for it. KSLA helped moderate a forum with some of the candidates for the district in August. You can find more information on the candidates on our News 12 app. In Shreveport, Donna Kia, KSLA News 12. Now, early voting is still underway in three Arklatak states. Louisiana's early voting will end tomorrow, so make sure to make time to cast your ballot early. In Texas, early voting ends on Friday, and in Arkansas, early voting runs now through November 4th. Oklahoma early voting begins on Wednesday and ends on Saturday.